And today, CNBC Africa is focusing on junior mining companies. There's been some speculation that gold is a sunset industry in South Africa, and yet to discuss where exactly this will leave junior gold miners uh, is uh, Philip Kotzer, who's the CEO of Vitz Gold. Uh, Philip, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. Well, as uh, I said mm. in the intro, there are many saying we're looking at possibly a sunset industry here. Your uh, response to that kind of commentary, that kind of rhetoric that's doing the rounds, and your assessment of the gold mining sector as a junior miner? I think let me start with opportunities first, that we still believe that exists in South Africa, and as a junior miner, we're obviously looking at all of those. Our company was formed um, when the mining legislation changed in 2003, and that gave us an opportunity to get some exploration rights in South Africa. Over the last number of years, we've now taken that up the feasibility curve, and we are finishing the bankable feasibility on our first project, the DBM project in the Free State, probably in August of this year. I think the importance of that is that there's still opportunities in South Africa, which I think is very important. If I secondly go to gold mining, then I think um, specifically where the RAND is going today, and mm -hmm. if you look at the world economy, somewhere people are going to have to stop printing money and get back to a solid base uh, for these uh, countries to sort of back their money against, and we certainly believe that that is gold. So we're certainly positive on gold and we're positive on um, a weakening rand as we go forward, as your previous uh, yeah. um, two people actually also said. So as far as getting funding, which is the next phase that we're going to move into, that obviously becomes difficult when you live in South Africa and you have uh, lots of turmoil with the Labour and you have the politicians not really giving um, any investors. In fact, that was actually echoed. I've just uh, seen a, a release from Grant Thornton where they've uh, put out an international mining survey specifically relating to South African miners. And uh, they've said South African junior miners have been negatively impacted by the mine nationalization's concerns. Uh, uh, and 51% uh, of respondents revealing that nationalization issues specifically have directly impacted their ability to access finance. Sure. I think the nationalization issue was, um, was a bigger issue about 18 months ago. Our minister certainly uh, put a bit of water on that fire. And to that extent, I must say in my sort of meeting with um, our investors, that hasn't come through as one of their biggest concerns. I must say what has happened with our labor cost and what has happened with the labor in general in South Africa, that has become a problem. How are you tackling that escalating cost environment? Well, if you look at uh, any of the South African mines, uh, 60 cents out of every rand goes into labor. So your challenge is really to mine more productively. Mm -hmm. And to that extent, um, in the industry that I am, in gold mining, we haven't done a lot of mechanization. And mechanization obviously reduces your dependence on labor and improves your productivity. So as Vitz Gold, um, we will be looking at mechanized mining as far as our development is concerned and look at proven stoping methodologies and thereby sort of reducing your, your um, labor cost and ultimately overall cost. I think an important aspect for us to consider to attract, just to get back to your previous question, to attract um, international investors, is that we're gonna have to look at a dividend policy. Mm -hmm. I think um, the mining companies are not renowned for paying dividends to shareholders. They typically sort of invest for the capital gain in the share, and um, that model, I think, has changed. So as we go forward, certainly in our company, we will seriously consider a dividend policy and they, therefore give regular returns to investors as well. Would you consider partnering up? There were rumorings of consolidation uh, needing to take place uh, in the sector and that affecting a player like Vitz Gold specifically, where Vitz Gold stood as a possible target for a player like uh, Sibania. Yeah. That uh, rumor did the rounds towards the end of last year, uh, simply because uh, what was highlighted was Vitz uh, lacked funding to develop uh, assets to the extent that it needed to. Is sure. that something looking uh, like a possibility? Look, uh, we would look at any model that can allow us to bring our projects um, into production. That is the beauty of our small little company at this stage. We hold uh, the future life of the projects in South Africa. So as long as you believe in mining in South Africa, you're going to have to believe in sort of getting additional projects. Um, there are no new mines that have been developed over the last, gold mines, over the last sort of 20 years in South Africa apart from the Burnstone mine, which uh, GBG mm -hmm. um, developed. Um, and that at this stage is on care and maintenance. So the project that we've got, we certainly believe is lying in the right area. If you look at the Free State area, that uh, currently they're probably mining about 50% of what they traditionally mined there. So the advantage that we have in that is there's existing infrastructure, there's enough sort of housing, there are people, there's skills. So we actually create a nice injection in that area. Will we partner to get that uh, going? 
absolutely one of the, the solutions we will be looking at.